Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. Welcome back for another video. I'm so happy to see you. This is actually part two of my Salvation Army haul. I went to Salvation Army yesterday on Saturday. They were having a 50% off sale, which is such a rare thing here where I live in Sonoma County, California. There's just not enough sales. Goodwill doesn't do any sales. So when Salvation Army does this every few months, I really try and go. I spent a few hours there shopping and then a lot of time doing quality control where I went through all my items in front of a window to make sure there was no holes or stains or flaws. I did not want to bring home any projects, items that need to be stain treated and all that. I just can't do it. I'm a part-timer. I, I resell part-time on eBay, Poshmark, ThreadUp, Etsy, and I've also been selling live on an app called Whatnot. You have to come over. It is a lot of fun. If you haven't signed up yet, I have a link down in the description, and you get $10 to shop, which can go pretty far on an app like Whatnot, because a lot of us are selling things really cheap over there. It is really fun. There are live auctions, and there's a live chat, so we could chat over there. Anyhow... Let me grab my notes for you because I did write down my cost of goods for things so you get a sense of what I am spending on these items. Okay, so I got 42 items. It's a mixture of things. Um, I'm gonna tell you the prices of things and then just know what you see I paid 50% off. So long sleeve shirts were $7, jackets were 10, sweaters are seven, dresses are eight, pants are six, and short sleeve shirts are six. So um, that gives you a sense of kind of what I paid. Prices are pretty high where I live here in Northern California. What are what do things cost um, where you live and you're outsourcing? Can you get things uh, much cheaper than this? I sure do hope so. This is still a few dollars cheaper than my Goodwill. So this is a good shopping place for me. I also just counted up and I got 42 items. So you could just say every item is $3.33 and do it that way. So I'm gonna take you through what's left. I already did the first half of this haul, so you might wanna watch, go back and watch that video as well so you see there were some other great Bolo brands in that haul as well. Let's get into it. Okay, this first item I found in the jacket section. First, I went to the sweater section. I'm filming this at the end of August, 2022. So I am looking for like jackets pants, jeans, sweaters. Not many people in August are shopping the sweater section, so I think I did really well in that section. And then I went to the jackets just a, bit, just a bit later. This is the North Face. And it's a women's size small, and it's one of these like fuzzy full zip fleeces with zipper pockets. It's in really good shape. I don't see any issues with it. There was a lot of stuff I passed on because it needed like a very serious sweater shape or it needed to be dealt with and I didn't want to deal with any of it. <laughs> this next top I bought for size and style. I am really looking for larger sizes right now, friends. It's always sold better for me online and certainly on my live whatnot sales, people are looking for large, extra large plus sizes. So I'm doing my best to have stylish pieces in those sizes. This is Style & Co. It's a brand I like to sell and it's a size XL and it's an ivory lace. The entire shirt is ivory kind of lace and ruffles. It's got a built-in tank underneath. Great size, really nice style on that one. I can use all my favorite keywords, boho, lace, crochet, romantic. Um, this is a bolo brand that I very re rarely find. Do you guys find it? It's smart wool. And this is a size large, so that is great. They make a lot of like base layer shirts like this. Smart will make socks, hats, it all sells really well. You would think in Northern California, we have a lot of like people who love camping, hiking, outdoor sports like that. We have an REI store, so you would think I would find more of it, but my guess is with a brand like this, people hold on to it. So this is a, a Henley, kind of a, a red, faintly striped um, Henley, has roll tab sleeves, size large, so that's fantastic. Keep your eye out for that brand. Graphic tees are so popular right now and I do not have any patience to go through the t-shirt section. Do you guys? I walk down the t-shirt rows a couple times on my Quemby. Graphic t-shirts are so popular, you should probably 
go through right now and find some cool graphics, band tees, that kind of stuff. I just, I look at that t-shirt section and I'm like, no, no, it's too overwhelming. But this was in the women's section for me. So it's a sweatshirt and it's a Pink Floyd graphic sweatshirt. It's all intentionally distressed. And the brand is Junk Food, which is a really good brand. Size medium, Junk Food. It looks kind of washed out and distressed on purpose. So these people love these. And I've been noticing they sell really, really well on whatnot. People seem to really like them. This is one of my favorite bread and butter brands. I love selling J. Jill. It's a very expensive store and people know the brand and they like it. This is a medium J. Jill. I just love selling this brand. It's a really pretty sweater. It's a pale blue and it's polka dot, but friends, the polka dot, it's all embroidered. So it's not like screen printed on there. They're all embroidered embroidered stitched and the best colors like a chartreuse and a gray i just think that is a really nice sweatshirt and oversized you know that's a medium it looks like it'd fit a large or an extra large so i definitely note that so this i have to do some research on because this is escada sport escada is a designer it is a very expensive designer. Usually their sport might be like a little less expensive. It's a size large and it's this chunky, chunky knit sweater, black and white knit, really beautiful kind of deep V, pretty heavy, heavyweight, very soft. So I have to do some research on Escada Sport, like that line. Um, it's all, it's 75% new wool and Angora. So a really nice material content. This could be a very valuable piece. Um, I don't, I just don't know about the Escada Sport and have to check comps on how Escada is selling. I have a pair of Escada pants in my inventory right now that I've been holding on to because they're new at tag and they have a $795 price tag on them. And so I'm like, hmm, what's the best way to sell these? Should I finally start the Real Real? The Real Real is an online consignment store for higher end stuff. Could send them to thread up. They might price them so high that I get a good payout. Or should I try and sell them myself on eBay? It's always the question as a reseller, like where, <laughs> where's the best place to sell this item? This is one of my favorite brands to sell. The brand is Everlane. Everlane, they just make such great quality kind of staple pieces. It's an expensive brand. And this is a women's sweater size small. It's an excellent condition. It's kind of just a gray soft sweater with a mock neck and a little bit of a balloon sleeve. It's so soft. This does not look like it's been worn or put through the wash. I'm gonna see real quick if I can find material. It feels like cotton. Just a really nice cotton, 100% cotton. Friends, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me and my channel grow and lets me and YouTube know you like haul videos. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel. This is probably the one thing that I took home that was a little bit of a project. Like even sweater shaving sometimes, you guys, it ends up in a box that's like needs work, needs sweater shaving. And I'm just not doing the sweater shaving. Um, I have been better over the summer because I've had a little bit more time. This is Pure Jill which is J. Jill, but it's their more, it's expensive line because they use really high quality materials. This is a long cardigan, like a jacket, like a sweater coat, heavy, heavy weight, very long. It's got pockets, white and gray and black speckled. It just needs a serious, serious sweater shave. And you know, the more I look at it, I think I, Here's my thinking, but I might have made a mistake. I mean, it needs a lot of sweater shaving. And if I if this just comes, if this looks great after a sweater shave, then no problem. But I think this might be more than I bargained for with the sweater shave. I guess I was, my thinking was, it's such a substantial piece. It's like a long, heavy, almost like a jacket. And it's um, cotton blend. So I guess I was thinking I could sell this for, you know, 40 or $50, but now I'm looking at it and I'm like, Quemby, what have you done? Like you're going to be sweater shaving for the next week. So these are Athleta, one of my absolute favorite brands to sell. Just such a consistent 
seller. Now these are an extra small. Often I'll leave the extra small athletas. I'll just leave it because small sells fine for me. Extra small has just been a little bit challenging for me to sell, but these are such a current piece and a current style. These are the Salutation Stash Pocket Tights designed in San Francisco. Now this particular line where it says designed in San Francisco, I've had a lot of luck with. So they have that media pocket on the side. I just think they're a current enough piece and I can find a stock photo that I was like, yeah, pick them up even though they're an extra small. Okay, I have some more Chico's. So that might've been the first haul. This might be the first piece of Chico's you're seeing, but I love selling Chico's, especially when it's a size three, cause that's XL. That is the older tag, I'm aware of that. But these are, have a lot going for them. So when I'm thinking about buying something, I'm like, hmm, brand, yes, size. Okay, three is like an XL, that's fantastic. Animal print, yes. Animal print, elastic waist pants, and then the hem has like a little ruffle. A little ruffle hem, so I just thought, gosh, great size, great brand, really great style. This is a Bolo brand that I love, and you know, I think the only times I've found this are at this same Salvation Army. This Salvation Army gets most of their inventory from San Francisco. And I think this is a popular brand there with like urban hipster San Francisco types. It's Marine Layer. If you find the men's stuff by this brand Marine Layer, pick it up because that sells even better than the women's. These are a pair of small pants. They're a pull on casual pant they have a really cool hemline so it's not a straight hem there's almost like a slit at an angle there they look very distressed kind of an olive green kind of a uh, cargo pant really great brand there this i picked up for style and brand jackets are normally ten dollars so that is too much to go in there and pay full price for but at five dollars i can i can do that this is Zara and it's a size XL. So another great brand and great style. This is a blazer and it's a super popular look that I'm seeing right now, like an oversized blazer with these big buttons. Um, if you look at trends and trend reports for fall, winter 2022, we're seeing a lot of oversized bright colored blazers. What a lot of people are doing are taking a blazer like this and wearing a little white cribbed Cribbed? No. I didn't want to say cribbed. I want to say ribbed. They're taking like a simple white ribbed um, crop top or top and layering it underneath a blazer like this. Maybe with like some wide leg flowy pants and some chunky shoes or boots. Big buttons that you see here. I'm seeing a lot of that um, on dresses and blazers and stuff. Oops. The AC just kicked on, so you might all of a sudden hear like I bought this Johnny Wise top because I was obsessed with the color, but it's an XL and it's just too big. I can, it's a little too big on me, so you'll probably see this for sale and whatnot. This piece I bought for style and size. The brand is Daniel Rain. I know this is sold on Stitch Fix. They make a lot of career, really cute career wear stuff, but this is an XL and it's the style. So the entire top is crochet and it's floral, like a nice, this will be great for fall. See these nice kind of fall rust, red and blues, but look at the neckline, all that crochet and lace. Oh, I love it. And an XL. Yes, please. This is a brand I buy and it's definitely a bolo brand in the men's category specifically, although I did just sell, I sold a women's handbag and a pair of shoes somewhat recently by this brand. So it's a good brand. The brand is Diesel. And, but the men's stuff seems to sell really well for me by Diesel. The men's jeans. Now this, it says slim fit because it's an XL. So this is a men's button down shirt. I do not like messing with men's button down shirts. I don't like photographing them, but this is more, um, it's a dress, more of a casual shirt than a dress shirt. It's black and it's star print. So a men's diesel, that's great, size XL, and then a cool print like star print. I figured it was worth picking this one up. I think that one will sell pretty well. And finally, some of my favorite bread and butter, J. Jill. 
This one's a size medium and it's just such a pretty, it's kind of like a take on a flannel because it has that plaid. It's nice and soft with like the browns, but it's a tunic. It's more, I'd say it's like a more feminine flannel. It's got a little bit of um, crochet knit through there. So just a really, you know, I put these up for like $29.99 someone sends me an offer for 23 or 24 plus shipping and I take it and it's like a fast easy reliable sale and everybody's happy this says medium but to me it seems like an extra large and J Jill's kind of like that which is why I put measurements in all my listings so that was part two I hope you enjoyed it what's your experience with these brands and go back and watch part one if you didn't get a chance. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up on the way out. And friends, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. I do, I put a lot of measurements in my listings on eBay and Posh and then on whatnot I can just say, hey, this looks like it runs, like it's a bigger size. Strange hair as usual. Yeah, it's just a really nice, got the rib neck really nice kind of fall basic. I don't want to put this on top of that fuzzy escada sweater. So I'm going to move the fuzzy escada sweater. I don't want to get that like Angora is so soft, but it has all these little fine hairs. I don't want to get it on the Everlane sweater. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's try this again. I did that thing, changed my shirt. So that's a lot of what we're seeing. So this is a current piece from them. These big buttons, I'm this is I'm holding this up so poorly. Like, hey, you want this jacket? No, no, it would look so much better if I took a minute and put it on a hanger for you and had it like, had, so you could see how amazing it is. These, I love it, love it. Okay, let's get this stuff set up. Petey's out there. I swear it's the funniest thing. Every time I go to film a video, suddenly Petey's got this loud project to do at the house or he needs to go in the kitchen and make a snack and I'm like, <laughs> I'm about to film a video.